there, everybody. Uh, today we're going to talk about the science. Um, you know, I expressed my opinion about compound and polish uh, and, you know, why CSI is completely different. But, you know, what really is the proof? What really makes um, CSI different than all the other products that are out there? Everything in the auto body trade, I would, um, you know, find out is kind of an experiment. Um, you know, when I was a boy and my dad showed me a dent and I just wondered how in the world you could straighten out a dent like that. But there was applied science to each and every part of that. Um, whether it was pounding it out as far as you can and using plastic filler or straightening it out just with metal and metal finishing that uh, surface. Uh, every single one of those took applied science. CSI is exactly the same way. Um, as a boy, you know, I intermixed um, all kinds of different compounds. Um, I think the system that we used uh, in the early 70s was compound and a product called Liquid Ebony. That was, that was pretty much the only product my dad had in the shop. Then I moved to California and these amazing products would come out, Meguiar's number five and Meguiar's number seven. They were awesome. They were different than what I was using and we used them for many, many years and I won many shows on Meguiar's number five and Meguiar's number seven. They were different than using Super Duty and Liquid Ebony and they really, really worked. Then, you know, as we got, as I got older in the trade, um, still experimenting, still trying to find that magic answer for every single employee that I had. Um, because even though those products that I had evolved with, when I handed them over to some of the employees, they were still having trouble. So in the 90s, I believe it was, you know, we started to go down this pathway of possibly and I never thought about making products for the industry, ever, ever, ever. That is not what I did. What I was doing was making a product just for my guys. I didn't want to have any more problems. If I could concoct something, you know, at the body shop, then that would be the way we would go. Never really got anything to work in the early 90s, but by the late 90s, I was starting to put things together in a way that was starting to make sense for my guys. Um, we asked a couple big companies to come on board with us and they did and um, actually gave me the right to sell their product and promote a system. And that system would be called System One. Um, system One would be the very first single product system on the market, 1996 I think is when we came out with that. And it, it really started to transform the industry. The only problem is it didn't have the cutting ability we needed. And I think I have to go back to how I came up with that. Um, as a boy, I was a Boy Scouts. You know, I was in Boy Scouts and I loved it. We played with fire and got to cook and, you know, camp in the snow and camp in the heat and just have a great time. It, it, was, it was really fun. But one of the experiments I don't know who did it, but one of the leaders, um, Boy Scout leaders, showed us boys how to boil water in a paper cup over the top of an open flame. And it, that always stuck with me. I don't know if it was the idea of playing with fire or the dynamic of boiling water in a paper cup. Why is it not burning through? I watched it. I saw it happen. And that would be called science to me. As I started to move forward in the making of, you know, polish or compound, I really didn't know what system one was going to become, whether I would call it a polish or a compound. Um, but as you know, CSI is not called a compound and we never called it a compound. We only call it a polish. And that dynamic, and I'm going to show you a little video on the dynamic of boiling water in a paper cup. Here you can see the water boiling in the cup over the top of an open flame. It's my barbecue 
Um, I don't have the way in California to start a bonfire um, in Anaheim. Um, I'd probably get in a lot of trouble. So I have to do it on what I have. Um, and you can watch these videos. Uh, teachers do this in schools and they teach the physics of what's actually happening. And I knew that if I was gonna make a compound or a polish, I'd want this property somehow involved in what I was doing. Because the dynamic that's happening here with the water boiling in the paper cup, the water is insulating the outside of the paper cup. And you know, we can come up with all the physics terms, but as a boy, I didn't know anything about what somebody was saying was physics. I just knew the science that was being applied and how this water was actually boiling and not burning through the paper cup. The bottom edges of the cup were burning, but not enough to get rid of the water. There was no leaks in this cup. It was, um, you know, continuing to boil, um, meaning, you know, getting to 212 degrees without burning through the paper cup. So that dynamic is really what keeps CSI so much cooler on the surface using a wool pad than a solvent-based product. Um, as a formulator, I have the ability to um, do something called order of addition when I'm making products. And that is the key, that by changing this order of addition, even if somebody were to take my product apart and use a gas chromatograph and see every single product that's in it, there's no way for them to copy everything that we're doing because they don't know the order of addition. And that's what makes CSI you know, secret to us only, because we did all the lab work. Years and years and years of lab work that um, you know, once I showed this to a few people, they invested a lot of money and um, they became partners of mine and they actually had a science team behind them who would be the science team that worked for uh, CSI and created this product that seems magical that you could buff really hard and then take it to an absolute swirl mark finish without burning through and without creating um, a bunch of swirl marks and things like that. So there is a science behind CSI. Uh, the other thing is the cleanup. Um, I, you know, we've all used compound before and stuffed it in the front side of a door jam on doors that would be maybe an Italian car that they're pinned and they're really hard to take off. So the idea of getting inside that door jam and cleaning it was a problem for us in our body shop. So again, when we were creating this, it would be talking to the chemist and saying, okay, this is what I want the product to do. I don't know how we're gonna get there. And they would suggest this and you know, a whole bunch of different products um, called surfactants which is a fancy term for soap. Um, soap is you know, what we're able to hook all the different components together with, a uh, surfactant, and then using a very, very clean surfactant that's water reversible, we're able to take the product, stuff it up inside a door jam, hit it with a hose, and it cleans out perfectly every single time. So again, all applied science. So this is, um, you know, wanted to do these videos for a long, long time, and I have time right now. COVID is still in full force, um, and I just wanted to share with you the difference between us and all, every single product that's out there on the market today. If they have a single product, they're copying what we started. They, they can't say that they invented it. We can. We can say we invented single product polishing. 1996 was the first time that this was ever put together to remove all scratches and swirl marks with one single product. So that's the purpose of this video, that it's not all smoke and mirrors. We're not the same as anybody else. And if anybody else has a single product program, they're copying what we started. I want, I want that to be absolutely, good. I'm glad they are. I'm really happy that they are because this side of the business, you're not gonna make a lot of money on. Um, you know, you might get paid uh, to do the work, but still, it's a lot of, lot of work, 
Um, it's mandatory on a show car, absolutely positively mandatory on a show car. And the chances of making, um, you know, turning it into just a business, just color sanding and polishing, when you're having to pay overhead, it's pretty hard. You still need to be able to do all the crash work and paint work and, you know, changing parts and making the money on all of that. Everything that goes into making money in a body shop. So um, I just, you know, wanted to talk about that a little bit. And uh, if you've got any questions, again, email me, make comments. I uh, love comments on Facebook. If you like what you see, um, you know, uh, push the button so that you can... Uh, you know, get more of our videos. If you push that bell, you're gonna get um, you're gonna get notice every single time we do videos. And we are gonna start putting out a lot of YouTube videos. Uh, I think this is an important way to go after the market. Um, that we are different all over the world. We are different. We we as CSI is completely different than anything else that's out there on the market. And here's the, here's the unique thing that makes us different in the single product. Even though, you know, a lot of companies have their own single product. Ask them how many products they have for color sanding and polishing paint. On the paint side, on the automotive side, we only have one. 62-203, the name of that product is called Ceramics. And we put all our eggs in that one single basket. And we say you don't need anything else to do color sanding and polishing. So I think that makes us uh, kind of unique. Um, it's a very, very narrow pathway for any business, uh, you know, that we're not trying to sell a bunch of part numbers. Um, but the bottom line is we want to provide a service to the body shop owners and the employees in that body shop to say you do not, absolutely do not need to use anything else other than ceramics. So. Hope that helps um, kind of clear up where CSI is coming from and where we're going. And uh, again, if, you in, if you're liking what you see, please um, click the subscribe button on our YouTube station. Uh, we're not doing this to make any money from YouTube. That's, that's not the reason why we're doing it. We're doing it to promote who we are and you know, what we're saying, uh, why we're different than any other product system on the market today. Thanks for listening. Bye.